Alex could tell Manager Hood had wanted to impress him with the expensive bottles of wine, but Darren had cut him off by taking the bottles. It's my honor to have everyone come to my restaurant. Let me propose a toast. A drink with Manager Hood. I'll remember his good intentions with all my heart. What the hell do you think a subordinate of Alex is worth? What I need is for Alex to remember me. Hello, Manager Hood. I'm Donna's mother. Manager Hood looked very bothered by Lisa's attempt at flirting with him, and Alex wished he could help him out. Ugh. Some people only know how to eat and don't even think about who made it possible for them to sit in the most luxurious room, eat the best cuisine, and drink red wine that costs $6,000 per bottle. <sighs> this kind of person is really pitiful. Alex was about to say something awful to Lisa, but Debbie stopped him, and instead, he glared at her. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. You've got a bad temper. We let you guys eat for free, yet you guys still have the nerve to glare at me? Forget it, forget it. Don't bother with someone like Alex who has no morals. Alex, didn't you already book a hotel? Where is it? What good hotel could he possibly find? We finally came to New York to have some fun. Will it be good enough to stay there? Mom, don't think like that. Alex's hotel booking isn't bad. Alex, what hotel did you book? The Azalea Guest House. Azalea Guest House? What, Donna? You haven't heard about this hotel? Oh my. He must have found a small hotel somewhere. How could we go to such a place? We don't even know if it's safe or not. Let Alex and Debbie go there. They're used to living in that kind of place. Mom, let's go look. The name doesn't sound so bad. That's the Berkeley Hotel, which is one of the most high-end hotels in the city. It's usually occupied by the most opulent people. Even the cheapest room would cost more than $5,000 a night. It would be great if we could stay there. Let's go look at the hotel Alex picked out. If it's not good, I'll book a different hotel for you guys. Although this hotel is a bungalow, it's still quite comfortable to sleep in. What's there to feel comfortable about? We were too tired yesterday, so we'll all feel this way. Well, this is the hotel that Debbie's boyfriend found, so it can't be that good. If it was good, how could he possibly have brought us here? I think the hotel is about to close down, probably because no one comes to stay here. As it's about to close, it's got cheaper prices. The kid found a deal. Hello, ladies. Are you on your way to go eat? The dinner area of our hotel is next to the courtyard. I'll have the attendants take you there. All the food is free of charge. No need. Look at this big garden. There are so few people walking around at such a good hour in the morning. The food and drinks are free. Just perfect for lowly people like Carla and her group. Let's go. The three of us will go out to eat at a better place. Are you going to have breakfast by the courtyard? The food there is delicious. Forget it. You're used to eating chicken liver and pickles all day at home, but we feel that the smell is too strong, so we're eating somewhere else. Joanne, I didn't expect you to be in New York too. What a coincidence. It's you, Lisa. Where are you going? We're going to eat. Joanne, you haven't eaten either. Let's go to Sunset Restaurant. The atmosphere there is pretty good. Sunset? It's quite upscale there and they have such pricey food. I think we should find a place to eat nearby. It's all right, Joanne, don't worry. It's not easy for us to meet in a different city. I'm treating you to a meal. You can't reject me. Let's go. Lisa, there's a long wait. Why don't we find another restaurant? Hey, Joanne, what are you looking for? Wait a minute. We'll have a seat soon. I'll be right back. You can't just ask the hostess to find us a seat. Is she going to do that? It's impossible. She thinks this is our city. This is going to be a joke. Joanne, don't worry. Other people might not be able to, but Lisa can definitely do it. Her daughter is dating an important man, and the last time we came here for dinner, we relied on him to get us seats. Who is her daughter's boyfriend? Is he very powerful? His name is Darren. He's terrific. The last time we came here, the manager found a spot for us without a word, and all the food was free. He even offered us a toast with a very exclusive red wine. His attitude is so humble. Miss, please arrange a seat for us. My friends and I have been waiting for a few minutes. I'm sorry. Please wait in line. When it's your turn, we will arrange a table for you. What? I need a place right now. Don't you know me? I'm someone you can't afford to offend. If you don't arrange a place for me as soon as possible, you might lose your job. Ma'am, I hope you can follow our rules. We really don't have a seat right now. 
If you want to eat here, you need to line up first. I want to talk to your manager. I want to see if he can find a seat for me. Our manager has his own matters to attend to. If you have anything to say, just say it to me. As you can see, we've come here with a friend. If today's meal is ruined, our family will lose $150,000 to $300,000. Can you make room for me now? All the tables are already occupied. There is only one Supreme Room left, but it's too expensive. The minimum price is $8,000. The Supreme Room is empty. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Are you sure you want to eat in a Supreme Room? What are you saying? It's not like we've never eaten in a Supreme Room before. Do you think we'll go back on our word or something? Is the minimum order for a Supreme Room really all right? Joanne, don't worry. I'll treat you. Your mission today is to eat and enjoy yourself. We came here last week. Let's order the same thing as the last time. Uh, but there are only four of you this time. If you order that much, you might not be able to eat it all. If I tell you to go get this order, you do it. If we can't finish, we'll have leftovers. You worry a lot. Hello, everyone. Is the food delicious? I'll make a toast. If you need anything, feel free to tell me. This wine isn't very good. Since you want to toast us, you have to bring some decent wine. Let's have some of that Louis XIV from the last time. Okay, I'll go and get it now. Manager Hood is really handsome. Joanne, you like him too. As long as you're sincere, I can make him accompany you for two days. Are you joking? He's such a big manager. Why would he listen to you? You won't believe it. I'll let you see if he listens to me or not later on. By the way, Joanne, if I can really get the manager to accompany you for two days, then what about our partnership? Oh, sure. My husband listens to me a lot. And manager Hood, you drink so quickly. Look, a drop of wine spilled on your shirt. Come, let me wipe it for you. I can do it myself. Please excuse me. Um, don't, don't worry, Joanne. I'll definitely get him to accompany you for two days. I'm sorry, but your bill has not been settled yet. Please settle your bill first before leaving. Are you new? Do I need to spend money here? I'll go back and ask Manager Hood. Please settle your bill. Didn't you give us a free meal the last time we came here? Yes, but there was a reason for that exemption. I'm sorry. Please, settle the bill first. Just wait. It's clearly a small matter, yet you insist on getting into trouble. I want to see how you're going to explain it all to him when he comes. That's good. Darren, you're finally here. If you hadn't come, this would have killed me. Will Darren pay Lisa's bill? How will Darren react when Manager Hood insists he pays the bill? And will Joanne still remain friends with Lisa? Hey guys, Alex here. Listen to full episodes of Insta Millionaire exclusively on the Pocket FM app. Click the link in the description to install the app now.